hello 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 everybody welcome back to my channel hope you guys have been being blessed and staying safe uh as you can tell by the title of this video we'll be sublimating on earrings so i'm gonna go ahead and jump in because i don't want to be on here long these are the blanks that i got i got these from amazon um and you get a lot of them too so it comes in a set and i'm gonna show you everything that comes in the set so you get the little earring backs, the little gummy thingies that you put on the back of the earrings. You get your hooks, your jewelry. You get your jump rings to attach it. And you also get, here's the package um, that the little cardboard thing and the little, uh, I guess it's a cellophane bag come in. Um, so here's the bag and here is the earring card. So you get a whole set. You don't have to buy the earring and then buy the jewelry and then buy the bag and then buy the, um, what is it? The little cellophane wrapper. So it all comes together. So you all know when you're dealing with these uh, MDF sublimation blanks, uh, it's not focusing. You have to pull the protective sheet off so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right quick i kind of wanted to take y'all from start to finish this is double-sided um but i'm gonna press the pair at the same time um so i've got that one taken care of and here's the second one and i'm gonna go ahead and wipe these off the reason is it looks as if they cut these while it had the protective sheet on there so it's like kind of a dirt film or something um it's not wanting to focus right there y'all don't pay attention to my nails i didn't get them done um i took the nails off because they was getting on my nerves anyway spray them down with alcohol just to clean them off um because i've been touching all on them to remove any fingerprints and residue especially this this black stuff um i hope y'all can see yeah this black stuff from i guess however they cut them so i'm gonna spray them down with alcohol really good now in the other video i created a i created an image in silhouette studio um i have a silhouette cameo that's what I do my sublimation on. I, you can do it with the Cricut or um, anything else, but I, I'm a silhouette girl, team silhouette. So here's my Dollar Tree parchment paper. So I'm just cutting it in half, but well, smaller than half. These earrings are not big. Um, so I gotta, I love this. I showed it in the last video, but I'm gonna show it in this one. It's a dollar and a quarter and it's already in individual sheets it's like what's up with that all right so let me hear it y'all know i'm long winning i love to talk all right here's the image and i'm gonna go ahead and put them down so i'm gonna tape it and i made this image just a little bit bigger um then the earring and and when you're dealing with uh stuff like this the one thing about uh sublimation that i've noticed when you buy these blanks they do not sell templates with these so you pretty much have to make your own which is what i did and i'll probably upload a video um showing how i did it but I can go ahead and tell you what I did while it's pressing because it takes a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Whenever you're doing sublimation, you want to put your the top part of your platen towards the actual sublimation paper on this way. Again, heat press it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Um, so here is from my previous video. Here's my coaster. This is the image that I'm putting on the earrings. I think it's so cute. 
I'm really proud of myself because I did that. Yes, ma'am, sir, I did. <laughs> Here's my keychain, double-sided keychain. Um, I think it's cute. So anyway, um, whenever you're making a template, I have a my regular printers, the e Inkjet HP 36 something, 3600 series or something like that. Anyway, it's a scanner. And so what I did, I put the earring, that earring on top of a, on the scanner. Then I put a black sheet of paper on top of it. And then I scanned it in my scanner and I saved the picture and I brought it into Silhouette Studio. And then I brought that picture into Silhouette Studio and I traced it using the trace feature. And whenever you trace it like that, it traces at the actual size. So you don't have to do anything. Um, and it's really not hard. So I'll probably upload a video doing that because that's the same thing I did with the coaster. Um, let me turn this over and see how this turned out. Oh, see, I kind of went up. You see where I went up? This thing is hot. A little bit too high at the bottom. So it's kind of white right there. Um, but what I'll do, that'll just be the back side of the earring. Um, again, these are for me. So it's no biggie. Um, so you always kind of, whenever you're doing stuff like that, you always want to make your image a little bit larger so you don't have that problem. And see it kind of, this thing is hot. It did it right here too. So I'm gonna try to do better with the other one. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it probably shifted whenever I, whenever I move. But again, these are mine. If anybody gets close enough to say, hey, your earring is white at the bottom, then I'm gonna tell them, sir, you are violating my personal space. Because you're supposed to be six feet away from me anyway. Um, so, yeah. Whenever you're doing your templates or, you know, things of that nature, that j just take it from, from me. Try to make it a little bit longer than you need it to be. Because when you do it exact like how I did... It's like there is no wiggle room whatsoever. So I'm going to take that down on the top. Then I'm going to put this one down. So yeah, next time when I do these, I got to remember to make it a little bit larger. Or I probably should have put my print bleed on. That way you know, that would have been covered. But then again, just like I said, these are mine. Um, it's, it's, it's not an exact science. So you'll have some failures and you'll have some success stories. So here's some, while those are pressing, here's some other earrings that I've made before. Um, so these are, and this is how they come in the set. When you put them together, this is what they look like. So here's my autism earrings. Here's my love earrings. These are firefighter earrings. This is my faith cross pair. Autism awareness. Um, And the way they do the packaging it just looks so neat it looks so professional and again like i said you don't have to go because i saw some kits when i was buying these off amazon to where you had to pay for the the this um earring holder separately um but this set right here comes with an earring holder and it comes with that card all right moment of truth did it stick to my heat press and I just burnt myself. I know y'all saw that. Alright. Here we are. 
And these earrings are kind of small. It's not like when I do my t-shirts. When I do my t-shirts, y'all can kind of see what's going on. Ooh, that's hot. Woo, let me put my little heat gloves on. My, how, how I'm going to tell y'all how to do something. I'm over here burning myself. <laughs> so, let me put it back on the side. So, on this side, I came over a little bit too much. This one, perfect-ish. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and put them together right quick. <sighs> Got these from the good old Dollar Tree. So what I do, let me pick them up because I got everything in this little dish over here. And they're small. So I got my my jump ring so I hook it and of course there's my cat Chico all right so I got that on and then you just hook the earring back on. Then I got my other set of pliers. It don't want to focus, y'all. And then you just bring them together. All right. And there you have it. So let me go ahead and put it on this card for you so you can kind of see. I'm only going to put one together because we're already at 12 minutes. Um, there you go. Then when I put the other one on there, I'll just put the cellophane on there. But I'm probably not because just like I said, these are for me. Um, and then again, it comes with this little bitty... What do you call this thing? Little earring back that you put on there to keep it from sliding out of your ear. So I'm doing that off camera. So here, just like I said, this is where I kind of didn't go down far enough. And here's the back side. So just like I said, one thing you, you, you guys will learn about me whenever I do my videos, I don't edit my mistakes because... Crafting is sometimes not perfect, but it's therapy for me. So anyway, thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you guys for uh, all your comments. Thank you for the love that I get. Thank you for being consistent and faithful. Um, so if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a huge thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button to be notified when I upload another video and it's not wanting to focus again. All right, there you go. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I go live again, um, when I upload a video. Um, until then, continue to stay safe, be blessed. And as I always say, do whatever makes you happy. And for me, that's crafting. Bye now.